Hey guys, Will here. Today I'm going to show you how to wash your Gore-Tex jacket or any other waterproof wet weather jacket. In order to wash your jacket, you're going to need a couple things. First up is a washer and dryer. Next is a technical detergent. Regular detergents can damage your jacket, so make sure to take a trip out to MAC or REI and pick up the right detergent for your jacket. Next up is a waterproof coating, and here you have two options, either a wash-in or a spray-on coating. Both of them are going to work quite well. Keep in mind, however, that the wash-in requires washing the jacket again and will take a little bit longer, while the spray-on will be a little bit more work on your part. Also be sure to check the label on your jacket to see if it recommends using a certain type of waterproof coating. Step one is, of course, washing your jacket. Prepare the jacket for the wash by doing up the main zipper, opening the pockets, closing the pit zippers, and loosening anything else like draw cords around the waist and the hood, and cuffs on the wrists. You can also perform spot cleaning on your jacket if you have any particularly bad stains. This can be done with just a regular brush and regular soap. Just make sure that you rinse this area very thoroughly. Lastly, before putting the jacket in the wash, you want to rinse out the detergent tray in the machine to make sure there's no leftover detergent that's going to get in your jacket. Now that your jacket is ready to go in the wash, you can check its label for specific wash settings. Otherwise, these settings will work fine. Gentle cycle, low spin, warm slash cold temperature, and an extra rinse. Step two is rewaterproofing, and this may or may not be necessary. If it's been a while since your last rewaterproofing, and you're starting to notice the face fabric is wetting out as opposed to beating water, then you're either gonna wanna grab your wash-in or your spray-on coating. Otherwise, you can skip ahead to step three, which is drying the jacket. The wash-in works by just washing the jacket again using this new liquid instead of the tech wash. You can follow the instructions on the bottle and on your jacket, but in the event that they contradict one another, just choose the gentler option. So that would mean the lower spin or the colder temperature. Otherwise, the same wash settings as before will work fine. Gentle cycle, low spin, warm slash cold temperature, and this time there's no need for the extra rinse. For the spray-on waterproofing, Take the jacket out of the machine and shake it off before laying it flat on a table. Following the instructions on the bottle, spray the jacket front and back all over, concentrating on high wear areas. These would include the shoulders and the waist where your pack would wear down the waterproof coating faster. You may need to let your jacket sit for a couple of minutes before it goes into the dryer. The third and final step is drying your jacket. Place your jacket in the dryer and set to a delicate setting on a low temperature. It'll depend on your dryer how long this part of the process will take, but you want to make sure your jacket is dry to the touch when you take it out. You can expect about 45 to 75 minutes. And you're done. Your jacket will thank you by performing better and lasting for years to come. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe for more like it. More videos on gear care can be found in this playlist. And comment down below if you're more of a spray-on or wash-in waterproofing kind of guy. Let me know what you think below. Thanks for watching.